Welcome back to the show. The family who tragically lost their three children when they were struck by a drunk driver has been dealt another devastating blow. A thief invading the Abdullah's Western Sydney home and stealing their precious possessions. Can you believe it? Layla was looking at photos of her son and two daughters when she saw the stranger fleeing from the family's home. And her husband, Denny, joins us now in the studio. Denny, thank you so much for coming in to talk to us. Thank you. I think, you know, we were so shocked when we when we all heard this. Um, can, can you just explain, like, how shaken were you when Layla called to say what had happened? Look, Layla gave us a call. She said, Danny, someone's been in the house. So I just went, went over to see if she... I said, is everyone OK? She goes, yeah, everyone's OK. So we went over and had a look and he took some, some stuff from upstairs. And you know what? I just thought, thank God, Layla's, Layla's OK and her friend Emily that was there. What did he take? Uh, he took some jewellery, a couple of handbags, a uh, couple of watches and the kids' phones, Anthony's phone and my, my old phone. And yeah. that, I imagine, is something that you're desperate to get back. Mate, I'd love it back, but you know what? In the scheme of things, we've got a lot of memories of the kids. I was going to ask you, um, how, because anyone um, who has been through a home invasion says it's the most awful feeling, um, someone being in your own home for obvious reasons. Um, how did Layla cope with that? I think Layla and I, because of what we've been through, it was very minute. Was we it? just looked at each other and said, look, someone's been in here. Look, thank God everyone's OK. We've been through worse. Mm. So, and we just got on with it. Mm. How, how are you both going now? Look, we're OK. It's just one day at a time, one mm. foot in front of the other. We, we're just... Our focus is on the kids, um, giving them unconditional love daily because that's what they need, what, when, you know, going through that trauma. And, you know, that's our purpose and our focus. Um, just, just um, I want to ask you about a couple of other things, but in relation to the, the perpetrators of this crime, what would you say to them in terms of getting stuff back? Well, look, I'd say, look, if you can, please have a heart and drop off the phones. Take everything else. Just give us the phones back. What are police saying to you? Police are working hard and they're, they're looking for some leads, but they're, they're hoping that they could get a result. Um, and, look, it's been... I think everyone around the country yesterday when they saw this just went, can this happen mm. to this family? Yeah, I know. You've been huh? through too much already. We've been through a lot. And, look, we, we, we never play the victim card, my wife and I. We always yeah. try and say, God, we're OK, thank God, the kids are OK. We try and, you know, in, in the midst of any tragedy, we try and turn it into some good. That's got to be tough sometimes, though. It is. It is. You know, what happened to our kids... And Veronique was very difficult. Mm. But, you know, the feedback we get in the community, a lot of people, their values have shifted. Um, people have become better people from, from what, the way we conducted ourselves. Mm. What, what, what um, gives you the strength to, to, to hold on? Because uh, I mean, I'm sure there's people out there who, who haven't been through anywhere near as something as horrific um, and painful, but people who do struggle, comp struggle comparatively in their lives. Um, what would you say to them? Oh, look. I think faith helps us a lot. Mm. It works. Whether you believe or not, it does work. We, we always say to each other, my wife and I, every day is a day closer to be reunited with our kids. And that's mm. our attitude towards the, the situation. Wow. It makes me want to cry when you say that, Danny. Yeah, that's our excitement. We, we, look, we look towards that day where mm. death has become something beautiful, where we know that we've got kids in heaven and our kids here, and they're preparing us a place for, for us to get there. Hey. I think you made... I, mean, I, I do think you made us all better people. When we, when we watched in the days after that accident and, and your forgiveness, your compassion was something that I don't know if a lot of us would have been able to find within us, ourselves at that moment. How did you find that? Look, I had a choice. Do I become the traditional man and seek revenge or do I stay as a dad and look at my other kids? I didn't want to bring anger, resentment, bitterness in my household. So my kids would, would feel that. So I, I believe it was the right choice to get out of the, the valley of grief that we're in. And we're slowly moving forward. Mm. Mm. We're glad to hear it. Um, all of that being said, um, if you could get your hands on this guy who was in your house yesterday... I'd get the phone off him. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> You're a good man. I'd love to, to lay I know that, um, that she was hoping to get in here today and, and hopefully we'll speak to her again soon. But uh, thank you for, for being with us today. We really appreciate it. And, for, and on behalf of all of our viewers, um, you have our hearts. Um, and, thank and you very great much. Inspiration. Thanks for being thank such you. amazing human beings. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Thank